Rent is up, interest rates are up, mortgages are up, groceries are up, taxes are up, debt is up, and Canadians are fed up. Bank of Canada Governor, Scotia Bank economists, they're all sounding the alarm bell. This NDP Liberal government's massive borrowing is making everything more expensive for Canadians. With two million people using food banks now, we know this Prime Minister is just not worth the cost. So when will he stop the inflationary borrowing that is hurting so many Canadian families? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. What's up, Mr. Speaker? Well, let me tell you what's up. What's up is jobs are up, foreign direct investment is up, home building is up, support for Canadian families is up, women's labour market participation is up. Let me tell you what's down, Mr. Speaker. What's down is inflation is down, food prices are down, unemployment is at a historic low, and the cost of childcare is down, and Canada has the lowest deficit and net debt to GDP ratio in the G7. Conservatives want to cut and move to austerity while we continue to invest in Canadians. The Honourable Member from Parry Sound, Muskoka. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, housing starts are actually down in Canada, so I don't know what fiction that member is listening to. Perhaps it's the Minister of Finance who thinks that the dream of home ownership has never been so good in this country. The SNDP Liberal government will spend more on interest on the debt next year than on health care. So my question is simple. When will the Prime Minister stop abusing the national credit card, cancel his $20 billion in extra inflationary spending and borrowing, balance the budget, bring down interest rates so that Canadians can afford to live in this country? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, I recognize that Conservatives want to try and claim that we're fiscally irresponsible. What I say is irresponsible is downplaying our economy when we are faring better than any G7 country in the world. What is irresponsible is voting against the Canada-Ukraine free trade agreement and abandoning yeah. Ukrainians in their time of need. What's irresponsible is calling an incident at the border a terrorist attack without having the facts. You know what that shows? That shows a lack of judgment. It shows risky and reckless behavior. and. Well, that's all I've got to say. 